So, if Jesus Christ saved the world, if every man, woman, and child is now justified in the sight of God through the sacrifice of Christ alone, why is God still judging? Especially at the great white throne. This is uh, one of the first questions you'll get once you start telling people of the eventual salvation of all. Why does God blame them when he's already justified? In Romans chapter 9, see Paul, Paul is uh, sort of bulldozing through a lot of information, but he does sort of um, touch on this topic for a little while. In verse 17 of chapter 9, he's talking about Pharaoh as an example. And he says, who God is hardening, he is hardening, and who he is... I can't remember the exact um, verse. I'll put it up. He hardens who, he's, who, who he hardens, and he gives grace to those who he favors. It's all of God. I'm pretty sure I butchered that, but... It's all God. God's doing it. God's doing the hardening. He's giving faith. And then in verse 19, Paul says, Who has withstood God's intention? No one. No one can withstand God's intention. If God wants something done, it's going to get done. So here comes the problem. If it's all God, and we're all justified, why judgment? Paul, he just says, Oh man, who are you to be questioning God? Now Paul obviously knew the answer to this problem. I think though he was just relaying so much information that he just kind of skimmed over it. Paul knew that the answer to this question was in Isaiah. It's in chapter 26. In verse 9, it says, For as a light are your judgments to the earth, the dwellers of the habitants learn righteousness. So when God's judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants learn righteousness. There it is. That is the full function of judgment, to learn righteousness. We don't look at judgment as a good thing in our society, especially in a church. The judgment is usually the end. It's not the means to the end. In verse 10, it says, If grace is shown to the wicked, he will fail to learn righteousness. So I know in the absolute sense that it's God doing all of this, but in order to get most of humanity to learn righteousness, to be right with God, it takes judgment. simply a means to an end for God. His, his end is to be all in all in all of his creatures, for them to be reconciled to him, and to give them the best experience for eternity.
whatever eternity is, nobody knows what it is. We can't possibly comprehend what eternity is. Which is why I, I stress that the word eternity is not in the scriptures. And the word forever doesn't mean an endless uh, duration. It's just a period of time. It's an eon. But I have videos on that. I might do another one. But yes, the Great White Throne is going to be, well, it's not going to be fun, because there's a lot of stubborn people that have died, some really nasty people. I like to look at it as uh, people having a shell over them, over their heart. And there's degrees of thickness of that shell. Some people's shell is like really brittle. And God's just going to break it with like a little flick of his finger. And some people have like a like a cannonball shell over their heart. And you're going to have to take a hammer to it. So that's how you... That's how you get to the stubborn. I hope that this helps. If there's any questions you have, I would be more than happy to answer them. And if you have any criticisms, lay them on me. Okay, uh, have a great day and God bless.